एवरीवन आई वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंग्लिश वैनिसा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वैकेबलरी ऑन अ मैटोपिया वर्स विच यू हैव इन योर थर्ड सेमिस्टर इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑन अ मैटोपिया वर्ड्स इट्स वेरी सिंपल अन मैटोपिया वर्ड्स आर नथिंग बट दीज आर द वर्ड्स विच मेड बाई इमिटेशन ऑफ द नेचुरल साउंड दे नेम द ऑब्जेक्ट और अ थिंग बेज ऑन दिस साउंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी हियर पॉप साउंड बूम and the sizzling sound and the third sound you can watch the video the link i'm providing under the description box of this video so let's try to solve the textbook exercises which you have in your semester third textbook so let's do the exercise one here you have to match each word in column a with its meaning in column b so here in the column a you have the words onomatopoeia words you have to match these words with their associated sound so let's try to do this the hissing sound the hissing sound is made by cat or lamb or bird or snake snake so we'll match it with the fourth one the hissing sound made by a snake and the chirping chirping is a sound made by small birds split one now the next sound is hmm it's sound like to sing with the closed lips it's a continuous or low steady sound so this is the when we close our lip the sound will come that's called hmm and the purr purr is nothing but it is a sound made by a cat and the last one the bass sound which is made by a lamb a small lamb so this is your first exercise let's do this next exercise here fill each blank with an appropriate word chosen from the option given in the brackets so here you have to choose the correct answer in your exam also you will get the bit in the same way they'll give you two option you have to choose the correct one so let's try to solve this the butterfly dash over the flowers so what is the sound made by the butterfly's wings buzzing or fluttered buzzing the sound made by bees but the butterflies sound is flutter so this is the correct answer i could hear the dash of the clock the dash of the clock clock made the sound clicking or ticking it's made the sound like tick tick it's ticking a coconut fell from the tree hitting the ground with a dash thud or splash splash is the sound made by water this is the sound thud you can hear the dash of sparrows from my window bleating or chirping bleating is made the sound made by sheep and chirping chirping is the sound made by sparrows the birds the dash of this horse bike drown out all other sound vroom or hum hum is the sound made by closed lips so this is the vroom sound which made by the sport bike throw the puddles so what is the correct sizzle or splash just now i said the splash sound came to by the water this is splash in rainy water usually children do this they puddle in the rainy water the tiger dash to scare the jackals away purred or roared purred is sound made by the cat but he, the tiger roared she dashed the coins and keys in her purse clink or jingle let's see the meaning of these two then we'll see which one is correct clink is nothing but it is a sharp ringing sound it is made by the striking metal or glass and whereas the jingle it is a light ringing sound made by metal objects when it's being shaken together so our correct answer is jingle because that when we shake the coins together it make a jingle sound sitting in his garden he listened to the dash of bees hissing or buzzing hissing of bees means hissing is made by the snake so it's wrong the buzzing of the bees is the correct answer last one is we heard the dash of owl all through at night croaking or hooting this croaking is sound made by frog but the sound made by all is hooting so this is your second exercise let's move to the third exercise you won't get this exercise in your exam now here the third exercise fill in the blanks using appropriate onomatopoeia words from the options given in the box below look up 
the meaning of words you are not familiar with be sure to use the correct form for each word each word can be used only once you won't get this bit in your exam but you should learn these keywords the words which they have given they might ask questions from these keywords you won't get this bit but they can use these words to ask question in your exam so let's try to solve this exercise so here i have solved this exercise here one paragraph they have given let's read it last weekend we visited our uncle's farm in the countryside he suggested a picnic at a nearby hillock we hiked up hill stepping on dried leaves that snap snap is a sound made by the dried twigs when we step on it that crunch under food pet dog pant alongside us Usually, whenever we associated the sound with the dog, we use the word barking. But here, I have used pant. What is the meaning of pant here? Pant is nothing but it is a short or quick breath, typically uh, from excursion or excitement. So here, the dog also was excited and he was breathing. He was taking a short breath. So that is called pant alongside us. The picnic spot was near a small pond. We spread a sheet on the grass under a tree. It was lovely. You could hear the knee of the uncle's horse. Knee is the sound made by a horse. From the farm downhill along with the moo of cows. Moo is the sound made by the cows. And the bleat of a sheep. The small lamp make a bar sound whereas the sheep made a bleat. It is the sound made by a sheep. A couple of ducks swam near the edge of the pound quack in protest when our dog bark at them the sound made by the ducks are uh, quack and now here the dog is barking a frog croak in annoyance at the noise we sip on drinks and munch the snacks munch means we are eating something munch the snack we brought with us then shoo away the occasional fly buzz when the bu bees were buzzing near them they shoo away the buzzing bees around the food a gentle breeze rustle the leaves rustle is nothing but the gentle breeze move the leaves of the tree overhead birds tweet and trill each other from the trees nearby means they were sharing their messages in a singing form but soon we saw dark cloud and heard the low rumble of thunder. We hurriedly packed our belongings and made our way back to the farmhouse. So this is all about your test book exercise, the words onomatopoeia words exercise, which you have in your third semester English test book. In your exam, you will get this bit here where you have to match the following either they'll ask you to match the following or in this way, sure in this way, they'll ask you the question. You won't get this bit in this way, but they might use these words to ask questions. So you should learn the meanings of these words. So stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.